Hi, this is question 8 from the AQA Mechanics 1 June 2013 exam paper. Um, in this question we're told that a helicopter travels at a constant height above the sea, passes directly over a lighthouse with position vector 500i plus 200j meters relative to the origin. With a velocity of minus 17.5i, um, take away 27j meters per second. The helicopter moves with a constant acceleration of 0.5i plus 0.6j meters per second per second. The unit vectors i and j are, di are directed east and north respectively. So for part a we need to find the position vector of the helicopter t seconds after it has passed over the lighthouse. And because it says t seconds we're looking for an expression for the position vector. So I'm going to fill in all the information that I know over here. So um, at, at when, when time is zero, um, we've got a velocity of minus 17.5 i um, take away 27 j. So we're going to call this our initial velocity. Now I'm going to write it as column vectors, um, just because it's clearer. Okay, five and negative 27. second okay and um, I also know that my acceleration is um, 0 0.55 plus 0 0.6 J so I can fill that in over here and okay um, and we want to know the position factor of the helicopter at time t seconds after it's passed over the lighthouse we're looking for um, first of all the displacement so over here I'm going to say well my displacement is going to be and I'm going to use s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared okay so that tells me that s is going to be equal to um, and we've got this here so minus 17 plus 5 7 sorry, let's try again Okay, S is equal to minus 17.5 minus 27T plus a half of A, so that's going to be a half of that there. So that's going to be 0 0.25, 0 0.3. T squared. So that tells me what the displacement is going to be. Um, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for um, the position vector um, of the helicopter. Well, because it had a starting position of 500i plus 200j, um, and we know it's displaced by this amount from there, I need to add that on. So I'm going to have r is equal to, um, and we're going to have and I'm going to write these in a different order so I'm going to say 0 0.25 0 0.3 t squared plus negative 17.5 negative 27 t and then 500 200 And there you go. So that's going to be the position vector. Um, just just to clarify, all I've done is I've taken its starting position and I've added on the displacement to find the position vector. Okay. Um, for part B, and I'll come over here. Okay. The position vector of, the, of a rock is 200i take away 400j um, meters relative to the origin. We need to show that the helicopter passes directly over the rock and state the time that it takes for the helicopter to move from the lighthouse to the rock. 
So we want this expression. There needs to be a time t where not only the i component um, is 200, but the j component is also at that same time negative 400. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a time where the i component is 200 and then we're looking for a time where the j component is minus 400 and um, if those times coincide um, then that means that it's going to be passing directly over that rock okay so um, I'm going to split this up into two bits we're going to focus on um, just the i component first of all I'm just going to tidy up my work so okay so just focusing on the i component so that's the easterly direction um, I know that um, I've got 0 0.25 t squared um, plus or take away 17.5 t plus 500 and I need that to equal this 200 here okay so um, I'm just going to rearrange this slightly so I'm going to say um, if I take 200 away from both sides um, from two t squared take away 17.5 t plus 300 is equal to 0 and I want the coefficient of t squared to be 1 so I'm going to just to make it simpler so I'm going to multiply everything by 4 so that makes that t squared take away um, 70 t plus 1200 equals 0 and now this should be straightforward to solve because I've got t take away 30 t take away 40 equals 0 so that means that t is equal to 30 seconds or t is equal to 40 seconds so that means that its easterly position um, is going to be at 200 i um, both at times 30 seconds and at times 40 seconds okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at the J component so again we're going to come up with a um, quadratic equation we've got 0 0.3 T squared um, take away 27 T plus 200 equals negative 400 so that means 0 0.3 t squared take away 27 t and add 400 to both sides so that's going to be plus 600 equals 0 um, to make the coefficient of t squared 1 I'm going to divide through by 0 0.3 so that's going to make that t squared take away um, that's going to be 90t uh, plus 2000 is equal to 0 um, this should hopefully make it straightforward to factorise so I've got t take away 40 t take away 50 is equal to 0 so that means that t is equal to 40 seconds and t is equal to 50 seconds okay um, and hopefully you've spotted that we've got t is equal to 40 seconds over here and t is equal to 40 seconds over here um, so we can say um, therefore t is equal to 40 seconds um, so uh, uh, after 40 seconds it's going to be exactly a disposition here um, passing directly over this rock okay now part C says find the average velocity of the helicopter as it moves from the lighthouse to the rock so 
so I'm just going to tidy up my work again. Now to find the average velocity um, we need to do the um, displacement divided by the time. So the average um, velocity is equal to the displacement divided by time okay remember the average speed will be the distance divided by the time the average velocity is the displacement divided by the time okay so um, that's going to be equal to well the displacement um, is going to be um, where it ended up um, take away where it started so it ended up here um, so at the rock it was at 200 negative 400 and take away where it started which is 500 200 it started at the lighthouse and um, we will want to divide that by um, the time So one fortieth of that because it was forty seconds. Right. So um, if I simplify that now, I've got two hundred take away five hundred, which is a negative three hundred. Negative four hundred take away two hundred, which is negative six hundred. Um, and we want to do a fortieth of that. Um, so that's going to be equal to, um, and that will be negative divided by 10, 7.5, and that will be negative 15. Um, and it's a velocity, so it's going to be meters per second. Okay, um, part D Okay, so in part C we found the average velocity In part D it says, is the magnitude of the average velocity equal to the average speed of the helicopter? Well, because we've not travelled in a straight line um, the, the, av the magnitude of the average velocity um, is, is going to be different to the average speed. Remember the average speed is the distance divided by time um, So, and, and whereas the average velocity is the displacement divided by um, the time um, so our helicopters travelled on a curved path which means that it's um, the distance that it's travelled is not going to be the same as the magnitude of the displacement so um, we can say that not equal as a helicopter um, not travelled on a straight path. Okay, uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I'll see you next time.